Hi, what's going on? Hey, everybody. Welcome. Uh, it's Thursday, right? Is it Thursday? I, I don't know. It was Tuesday. No, that's not. It's not. I'm pretty sure it's Thursday. Okay. Well, getting verification from the chat that today is Thursday. Uh... And that means it is time for me to look at my phone. No. Uh, time to shoot stuff. It's shoot stuff Thursday um, around these parts. Let me launch this and see if it's going to just come right in. They started season three of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Um, and I want to get in there and check it out a little bit. Check out some of the... They added some new multiplayer maps. But also, um, there's, uh, you know, Warzone stuff. Turn that a little down, down a little bit in my heads. Is my distance from the microphone proper? Pardon me. All right. Where would you like to put it now, Q? Let's see. Um, so I went ahead and picked up the battle pass uh, to get that stuff. They added Alex, which is the character from the campaign. Um, but all the costumes you get for him out of the gate are all covered. You gotta do a bunch of stuff. You gotta like you gotta hit battle pass tier one hundred if you want the skins of dude looking like the dude from the the campaign. Which whatever I don't. I don't know. Uh, there's also this I th th this skin here for this d like just looking like an even bigger scumbag here with the shirtless the shirtless vibe uh, and uh, <clears throat> that's a look that's a look. So I appreciate that they're getting you know dumb with some of the skins. Uh, Let's see here. I guess Season 3 Mosh Pit seems like a way to see the three new maps they've rolled out, I guess. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, a little American History X-ish, I suppose. Slightly skinheady. Skinheady, is that a word? Is that a dynamite skinheady for the Genesis. Is that... chunking up a little bit we're chunking up a little bit we chunking up a little bit huh well let's get into it and see how it goes uh i know last time i played control uh it ran well it ran fine on stream and the archives were hosed um but we'll get in here and see how it all goes <laughs> For a second, I thought that was voice chat, and I was like, what the fuck? HQ as it comes online. First HQ identified. Move to secure. Enemy at the center. Yeah! 
running bad out there. Here it says it is getting it is hitting HQ 60. is green. Get a move on. <laughs> Securing the HQ. You guys are saying it's chunking up. Maybe after yeah, for this little test run, we'll uh, try to make a change. HQ secured. Hold out as long as you can. About the only thing I think I can really do on that streaming stuff uh, to try is uh, switch from GPU to CPU and think that maybe playing a game that is going to hit the GPU while uh, the coder is also might not be great. HQ is green. Get a move on. HQ contested. They're capturing the HQ. Go. HQ contested. They're capturing the HQ. Go. That's not going to work the way I hoped. That, oh, that would have been fun. Finding the game to be loud. This is we we tested this. We tested this before we started. God damn. HQ contested. HQ, HQ, get over there. HQ lost. HQ contested. We're the HQ. Oh, that contested. Ah, got it. HQ contested. Shutting down the enemy HQ. It's all in fire. Get to the new HQ. Where'd you find this? Yeah, I guess even the soundboard stuff sounds kind of low in comparison to the game, so maybe I'll just lower the game in game to handle that. There was another door. There was another door. HQ is green. Get a move on. Securing the HQ. thing that normally ready says 60 now out. says 44. That's get mm, ready. Mwah, delicious. All right, after this match, maybe we'll fuck around a little bit. And if it doesn't work, then I'll uh, just fucking play something else. New HQ established. Play high-quality PC games in my own time. Friendly counter UAV active. That's not a door. This is not a door. I'm at the edge of the map. I 
HQ. That didn't work quite how HQ I hoped. HQ is off. No reinforcements available. Blew those doors open, though. That was fun. Friendly UAV overhead. Whoop! Ha! It's funny because it says 60, but then like the CPU percentage is still really low. Coding overloaded considering turning down video settings. Faster encoding uh, reset. Okay, so it's nice that it has that error message now. I don't think it had that before. Turning down video settings. I wonder if that means in the game or in the stream. I can, uh, I can always do something like this. Enemy on the HQ, defend. HQ is down, stand by. Next HQ up in tank, get ready. Oh god, 60 frames a second looks disgusting. Looks disgusting. Look at this Enemy filth. at the center. Get to oh, the new HQ. Gross. Ugh, I feel sick. Gah. 60 frames a second. God. Who would play this game? It's 60 frames. Go back and play the PS4. Look at how ch jittery and choppy that guy. I don't know. Looks like a piece of poop. Ugh. He's got a puke. God. That was a good grenade. Enemy deployed. HQ contested. Bring Enemy that wheel to around the corner so I can shoot. No? Alright, well, whatever. Look at around this corner. I'll die. Blow that thing up. That's how it's gotta be. It's honestly like I, I'm I'm kind of fucking around, but um, honestly, kind of how the game looks at 60. Next HQ up in tank. Get ready. Compared to running it at 165. Get to the new HQ. Allied cruise missile away. Friendly UAV overhead. Yep, yep. There was a person. Seven and fifteen. Sweet. You saying the game's too loud? I already turned it down like a bunch. But uh okay, sure. Let's take it down another twenty.
They're playing that 24-7 shipment 10v10. Hell yeah, I did. I'm trying to I'm trying to just grind out these levels. Uh you know, that's always fun. Double experience points. Look at how nasty that is. The timer's already ticking down on it. Uh, and I'm not even in a match. The way they handle these double XP tokens in this game is criminal. You know a game that doesn't do that? Fantasy Star Online 2. Let's talk about it. When you activate a double XP or try boost in there. Uh, it will only work when you're in mission. When you're done with the mission, the timer stops stick ticking down. And then you go back into a mission and it says like, hey, we're, we're running your timer again. That's class, is what that is. Sega cares, is what I'm saying. Oh, drove right through that fence. I love it when it's like map elements that this like intro just drives right through and it shows in the van. Real dumb. Down the okay, there. right. Back lot. Okay, yes. Back lot. We have our first target. Move out. Right behind you. Right behind you. Uh, the objective. Enemy in the destroyed building. Taking the lead. Oh, that's just some bad shooting. Me. It's fine. We're good. <laughs> Fool, you better come on in. Under our 
ready. This is Falcon 3-0. Good job. Hot point. Damn it. Oh, that would have been fun. Had I shot that guy and killed him, that would have been fun. We control the hot point. UAV is out of fuel. Returning to resupply. Yeah. Just stand here. Play the objective, baby. Yeah. Oh, they moved. I gotta go. Here. We're fine. We're fine. My flare is still here. Give me that. Can I, can I, can't, I can't just pick it up. Okay. Enemy, Enemy at the construction site. Shit over here. Where are you? There. Oh, and there. Thank you. Oh, right, my stupid flare. I'm all the way over here. Ugh. Whatever, we're so far ahead. Oh, hang on. The hot point is ours. Crushing them! Stay with me! Go! Enemy Get to the next one! Throwing grenade! Enemy is overhead! Uh. Enemy is a counter contain! Control the hot point! Okay, it... Grenade is online! Enemy at the center. Something special. Ten seconds. Is it upstairs here? No. What, where the fuck am I? Where is... 
This is doable, right? Oh, oh, it is. Easy prey, easy day. Good work. All hands prepare for multi ball. I gotta get a Yoshi. Let's see if it uh, serves us up the third new map, which I don't think I've seen. Increase speed to warp 9.9. .9. You are very handsome, Mr. Dorn. Sawmill, is that the one we did first? Or is this a... Well, let's find out. We'll find out. Hell, I don't remember. rather just do some shooting on the new maps before I start doing objective stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah. Is this guy still there? Is this guy still there? No, oh, yeah, he is. Oh, another guy too. There are more. to do what I was trying to do there. Hot point contested. Hmm. Enemy personal radar in the air. Well, I mean, we're getting all these objective points, so... Fuck this thing. Fuck you. Enemies got the hot point. Oh, no. Well, I was busy fucking around with that shit. Oh, I'm on it. I'm in it. I'm on it. I'm in it and on it. Stand by to move. Lost the lead. I see movement. Next hard point. Go. Nope. That's us. Alright. Enemy care package inbound. Hardpoint. The hardpoint is ours. Yeah, you. Oh, okay. Hardpoint contested. Enemies got the hardpoint. Guys, there just to be a dick. Enemy in the AO. Really? Oh yeah. Okay. Enemy taking the hot point. Stand by to move. Here, this stupid jet. Oh, not bad. Enemy cost a 
much on that roof, man. Thank you. Nope, that's still the edge of the map. No matter how many times I think it's a door. There, we, we did it right that time. Shit. Get ready to move. So, yeah. It goes like this sometimes, you know? It, it really does. It really do. Yeah. Alright. That's a great throw right there. Ten seconds. Get ready. Wait, wait. Uh, where's the contestant? Who the fuck is in here? Okay. Just running in circles. What? Yeah. Okay. Is this guy still on this roof over here? I bet he is. I can get up on that roof. Location under our control. Where's the UAV online? You could have, you could have guessed that that was going to happen. Feel better. Cleanse. 
Hey, hold on, that girl. Oh, oh, it's rough, this is so. Hit! That's one. That was the last one. Friendly precision airstrike on the way. Hardpoint lost. Where'd that guy get it from? Okay. A lot of guys getting it. Okay, that's gonna be I needed to I needed to move or heal or both. Hard point lost. I got blown up by jets, man. You sure did spend a long time shooting me before I died. That was fun. He was like, Wee! I'm jumping out from behind this and shooting you! And I was like, what? And then I was dead. And oh, that's it. Hey, what's up, man? That didn't quite go how I thought it might, but... Oh. That's how you want to throw the grenades. That's how you want it to happen. Yeah, there was that guy down there, too. That I shot at that wall, which was uh, I mean that wall was uh, fucking with me, you know. That wall was not cool. That was a cool wall. I'm on fucking fire, and I'm not even wearing a shirt. It seems like that would extra suck. I don't know, like a polyester shirt sticking to you. That, That'd probably be unpleasant, right? Throwing grenades! Fuck it. I'll put it here. Why not? Valorant. Yeah, we might uh, we might stream some Valorant at some point. I uh, I played a round of it this morning and won. And my first thought was, what if I retired undefeated? Let's see what we get map wise here. That was sawmill, right? That was sawmill. So we don't want sawmill, we don't want backlot. If we get the third map, we'll stay, otherwise I'll bounce out and do something else. Alright. Yeah, this other one, uh, this, this other playlist, Deathmatch Domination, which is, uh, as it says here, it's the rules of Deathmatch and Domination at the same time, which is kind of fun. So, like, you get points for controlling the control points, but also points for kills. Just, like, it's a neat idea. They're fucking with it, you know? They're, they're, they're having... They're, they're fucking around with the game, and I think that's probably a good thing, you know? Kind of freshening it up in different ways. They still don't have a fucking clear all the you got new shit pips button. Which is ridiculous, but you know, what are you gonna do?
They changed it. It was three players, and they just changed it to four, which I imagine if you were like, I got my three-person squad for Warzone, and we're tight, and then suddenly it's now a four-player game. You got to be like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> we got to find another person. There is a clear all green pips option now? God damn, man. What will they think of next? It's funny, because when uh, the, the mode leaked prior to release, everyone was saying it was a four-player mode, so I wonder if it was just a, hey, we're not sure how the network is going to hold up with that many players, or, well, it's, it's still 150. I don't know. Anyway, we're, not, we're not sure how things are going to hold, so... Um, so let's just launch with threes. Check your gear and weapons. Planes are making ready for deployment. I can't wait for them to eventually just do a variant of this that is just this. It is just an hour of pre match. Loud, eh? Well, let's lower a little bit. Uh, okay, where do we want to go? I'm still very much in a mode with this game where I want to get to some place near the end of the flight path. So, you know, most players are dropping on this end of things, and I want to kind of be down here, maybe outside the circle. Um,. LZ is set. Let's stay together. Knock, knock. Open up the door. What's this fun building over here? Also, I, I'm, uh, that guy's already over there. I'm, I'm not good at uh, the parachuting yet. I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like I got the the Apex style down. I was a pretty decent PUBG jumper. Um, but there's something about the way that this does its movement that feels weird. And I just, the only way I found to get distance is just pop the parachute early and then cut it and then pop it and cut it and pop it and cut it. Uh, Enemy UAV if over you want here. distance, anyway. All right. Uh, I don't really want a shotgun, but oh, okay. Um, some asshole in a helicopter. What's up, man? Yeah. <laughs> I can't help it. I get run over a lot, but also sometimes I just want to run up to a helicopter and shoot it with a gun. Sending you back to life. Ah, well. 130th out of 150. That's good, right? Uh, I had a really good pre-game 
uh, like a month ago, I don't know, a while ago, um, where I jumped in a helicopter and just kind of tilted to the ground and like cut up like four dudes. <laughs> it was real, uh, real silly. I don't mind losing early, except for the part where, you know, it takes some time to get back in and jump again and all the other stuff. I, it was... Or yeah, uh, yeah. Get the helicopter and then look around for people that are diving in back from the gulag. Yeah, like you said, and cut and and get them while they're still parachuting in. That's some Press real dumb Press shit. Press you can. We're deploying soon. Work. This will work. This will work. Where? Uh, yeah. Oh no. Oh, ah. Warm up's done. Time to kick this off. Uh, let me try and come on. LZ west. is set. Let's stay together. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. dive and then go forward, but it seems like as soon as I do that, my forward momentum stalls. So if I want distance, I'll deploy and then cut and then hold forward, and, and maybe that's just the way to do it. Uh, but I feel like I see other people parachuting better than me. A lot of the time. Primary objective is to kill them all. Oh. A silenced assault rifle. That's not... You know what? This... It'll be nice if this works. Just hit Requesting that. recon. UAV entering the AO. And then hit that and see if I can. Oh, it's all oh, right. It's one of these. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're not gonna. Nope. That's. You know, if I see, I just, I've never shot down anyone in a helicopter with a rocket launcher because you just never have the. You never have the rocket launcher at the time you need it. Where's the stairs? Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Okay, scavenger is always a good one. Very easy. 
And see, and now I'm all, I'm still not going to have said rocket launcher. Supply box identified. Parking location. All right, let's now. go. Location. Great. Got the same gun. You know what? Might as well just go up to the roof and parachute down. That seems like an appropriate way to die. Close. Where's that? Okay. Huh? We need to get up. Is that the? No, that's not. Oh no! It was not. No, that was that was a different. Okay, that's not the box I was looking for. Uh, how do I? There's got to be an outside and then up sort of situation. Is that it? Sniper, huh? This seems like a fucked up way for me to fuck up and die, but let's uh, head in this general direction and see if we see if we can make something happen. Find ourselves a high spot. buy a loadout. I think I'm going to stick with what I got, because what I would get on the loadout is not too different from what I'm currently using. Someone might be up here.
I would very much like to use this uh, airstrike thing that I've got. And if I could figure out where those shots were coming from, I would just try to hit him, hit there with it. That's close enough. We should be able to hit whatever that is. Got a loadout drop yeah. inbound. Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. Well, I mean, that was fun to take those shots. Someone's going to come for those loadout drops, and then what if I hit them with the airstrike, you know? You fucker. Gas is closing in. I have to assume this guy just did the same thing and re-armored up. Turn to the front line. But if you lose, okay. you're done here. You're up, soldier. Now go sort this fucker out. <laughs> ah, that's not what I want. You got your ass kicked in that one. We're sending you back to base. Learn from the law. Failure's a proper teacher. Alright. 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 Okay. Okay. I got that one guy though. You saw me get I shot that that one guy. He was running and then I was like, Can you outrun this? And then it went bra 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 and uh and that was and that was it for that dude. So so I mean I got that one guy. 
a KDR of one. We'll take it. But yeah, I've had a, a couple of decent runs. I got uh, I got a thirteenth place this week, which is I think actually the the highest um, the highest placement I've had so far. And uh, it was a, like most, it was a real dumb death, real dumb death. Always like general, I'm just gonna run over there and kill this guy, and then it just doesn't go my way. That's more like it. Can I get up here? Can I? No. Hey. I'm thinking right somewhere out there. Look at all these suckers. Oh, they all the good shits over here. See? Where would I be without this fucking... Wait. Another person dropping? Am I fucking crazy? I'm seeing shit. Multi-ball. Where would you like to put it now, Q? Okay. 
I'm so pissed, man. Fuck. Fucking. So I've been running streams at night, uh, primarily just to like kind of work out the fucking kinks on what the fuck is going on. But it seems like any time during the week, during the fucking day, I don't know. Is that Twitch kicking me off? Is that or is Twitch having like load issues in the middle of the fucking day? Because like I streamed last night for two and a half hours or something like that and no cut. But it seems like every fucking time I'm doing it during the week. Twitch just fucking boots me the fuck off. Ugh. And I haven't seen anyone else. I, I, I'll check and see if anyone else has been having that issue, but I've been having it consistently during the fucking week, and it's so fucking frustrating. God damn it, man. Fuck. Ugh. Motherfucker. I swear. We've been meaning to do some uh, multi-stream testing to get out to more services and stuff like that. Uh, the the um, concern being latency, like the, the Twitch low latency stuff has actually been pretty good. Um, is it related to, no, it's not related to computer load. Like the first time it happened, I was running pirates for the, over the capture card. Like it's not, no, it, it's, it is not related to what I'm streaming. Um, that I think I've, I've it's happened enough different times that I've ruled that part out. Uh, it's Twitch. This is not happening to only you. Okay. Well, all right. We do have our own internal streaming stuff, but you know, it's it, the latency on it's super high. So like chat just wouldn't be like this. Um, so, uh, so that would be a problem. We, we're getting into Mixer for a while, but it seemed like some people just have problems watching Mixer. Um, like they aren't transcoding or they, um, or they, um, the player is too heavy for some people's browsers or something. So like, like Mixer didn't always seem like an immediately great idea. So, um, I think YouTube might have a low latency mode these days, but saying Mixer has been pretty jacked lately. Yeah. I guess that's just the world we're in right now, right? It's the, it's, it's, everything's all, everything's getting load tested these days. Uh, well, you know, in, in drastic times uh, call for drastic measures. And so I'm gonna have to move a cable real quick here. This is where we're at. Sometimes it just has to be this way. I don't make the rules. I just abide by them. My... PSO2 character these days is beginning to look like uh, he's part of a amazing crossover between Daft Punk and the Venga Boys. I've got some uh, some mail here from people that probably want to join the Alliance. 
I'll, I got to plug in a keyboard to do that because you got to type it all in. It sucks. Um, so we'll get a little bit of this in, and then uh, I think Alex is going to take over in about half an hour. So that should be enough time to run something. Um, let's just... Well, how about I just... Let's see. What do we want to do? What area Which quest are you up for? should I run here? Uh, let's do the coast. I think I've got some quests for the coast. Yeah, let's do it on very hard. Why not? Why not, I guess? I don't know. I fucked up my gun. I've been using the same gun for a long time, and I was like, they were like, you need to add a, like, one of the quests is like, add a, um, an extra bonus to your gun, and I was like, okay, I can, I can do that, and then didn't realize that it was overriding all of the old bonuses on the gun, and so, uh, it had a pretty good roll going in, and, uh, so I fucked it all up. Now we're going to get fun. Oh God, it's raining. Hard. Hard. This is a hard rain. The, the movie, the game. I don't need to... No one needs to hear this video game, as it turns out. I should see... Okay, client orders, outstanding... Post. Okay, I got some stuff to do here. Just kill stuff, it looks like. That I can do. I still can't get... I mean, of course, like, you know, you get used to anything, it's gonna always... Uh, I'm gonna suck to change it, but... Uh, I can't get over how choppy Call of Duty looked running at 60 frames a second. That's real, um, that's real dumb, but, uh, you know, running that thing at a much higher frame rate, uh, than that normally, some would say double that and then some, uh, you definitely get spoiled. Ooh, I got a coast sapphire. I don't... The, the stuff you get from the harvesting is used for crafting um, rings, and sometimes some of the upgrades you're trying to do will... Uh, some of the uh, item upgrades you're trying to do will require a bunch of fucking obscure items, and uh, it's a pain in the ass. Right, I forgot my...
Give me all that XP. There's a ring you can equip that makes it so using healing items takes less time. Which seems like it would be very useful, because I, I feel like in the cases where I am having to use a heal item, like in a boss fight or something like that, like the minute you start to use it and go into the animation is when the boss starts trying to fuck you up. Um, so being able to shorten that time actually seems like it would be like useful. In the, in the rare cases where this game is difficult, which so far... Um, I went on an advanced mission, which you have to pay us to use a certain type of item as currency in order to activate the mission in the first place, called advanced capsules, and uh, and that was, you know, I was like level 40 at the time, and everything else was level 56, and some of the events uh, were like kind of a hassle. Specifically against uh, fighting the uh, masked figure known as Persona the Masked. I don't know. I've been trying to watch the story stuff, and uh, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know what's happening. But this part, the, like, run around and just, uh, you know, hit X and Y and watch stuff blow up. I got that down. I got that down pretty fucking good. Oh. Fever. Oh, I don't have enough stamina to keep harvesting. I have to pay... Uh, I have to use a premium currency to buy a drink that will give me more uh, stamina. Because that's this game. I, I'm thinking about writing a review of this game. Um, Cause it's, it's fucking wild, man. This thing, the idea that this thing exists and the way it exists it's uh, it's a really bizarre thing. Now that I've like, really started digging into the menus and like looking at the systems and looking at the currencies and items, like, okay, well, it says I need three of these types of rocks to upgrade this item, but what do I do to get those? And having the answer sometimes be, oh, uh, you need to grind out a very rare currency um, and trade it for a different currency. And then do, like, there's just a lot of, very, like, it's, it's crazy. Uh, at times. Uh, you know, it, it's crazy in a way. Um, a free-to-play game made eight years ago would be. Or, you know, specifically for the Japanese market. Like here's a case where I'll, I'll, I'll try to heal. We'll see how it goes. Okay, all right. He was trying. He was gonna throw a rock at me. Oh god. I also got this. Oh man, I'm actually pretty fucked up. Oh wow. Cool. I fucking died. Will the AI revive? Will AI partners try to revive you? It's looking like a no. Well, it's good now that I'm getting onto like very hard and getting closer to unlocking super hard that the game is actually occasionally doing real damage because <laughs> like fuck it's just so uh easy most of the time it's 
it's a shame though. You know, like like honestly, uh, it, it, this this is a is a good long running classic franchise, right? But uh, and this game's not bad. Like it, for what it is, for a, a you know for a Diablo, right? I mean for a a game that is primarily a four player at most game with uh, social areas and a you know guild hub and, and all that sort of shit. Um, stuff you would expect out of a out of a Diablo esque game, out of a, out of a Guild Wars esque game uh, in this day and age. Like so many of the systems and things around it that they the systems they built to make it a free to play game really um, they suck. A lot of them really suck. Uh, and I, I think that like if you could and, and clearly they couldn't for whatever reason or wouldn't they couldn't probably couldn't because it would cost too much money to do the work uh, which then you ask like why do it at all and I, yeah I, I I don't know why this came out here after all this time it, it's it's really weird um, but like, I think if you took this content and and this concept of like, hey, we're making an, another like, this is a, an action RPG, it's a Diablo, um, and you just built a different monetization strategy around it. You know, you could still make it a free to play game if you wanted to, but I, I think there's just like better ways to to try to make money on it than the very patched together setup that it has right now. Um, because it looks like, and, and you know, it, it looks like this because you, you know, you know the backstory or whatever about how long it, it's existed and all that other shit, but um, it looks like a game that came out eight years ago and they've spent eight years bolting on new systems to try to keep people engaged. And so coming to it all this time later, all you see is the result of that, of like a game with like a billion bolted on systems and nothing really feels like it goes together and there's no real story progression because they, they threw a lot of that stuff out or, or, or kept it, but like reduced its, uh, um, reduced its place in the overall flow of the game because they're like, oh, the story stuff, like whatever. We're on episode three now. Who cares about that episode one story stuff? So it's like, in some sense, they made it less friendly for new players and then launched it in a new market where theoretically, you know, theoretically, uh, no one has played this game before in this territory. That's obviously not true, but... Um, it's, uh, it's fascinating for those reasons. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I run across this. I run across this for whatever reason. This is the shallow stuff. But I think, you know, like at its best, like you, you, you could play this game just the same way you would play Diablo 3. And, and if they had a strategy around the game of updating it along those lines. Luna! Oh, shit. All right. The thing is, is, I don't know if you do that with this game uh, at, at, at this point. Like, it's been so long um, that uh, you almost look at it and think, like, well, you know, yeah, you could do that to this game, but wouldn't you be better served making a Fantasy Star Online 3 and then launching that worldwide and and giving everyone kind of like okay here's our here's our fresh start um 
we get to we get to walk away from all the legacy things that we did in PSO2. Um, and the answer there is almost certainly like, yeah, you could do a lot of things if you had infinite money and time. Um, like, yeah, you sure could do a PSO3, but like, can you get that? Can you get a budget for that approved? I don't know. I, I don't know anything about the financials of PSO2 other than that when they originally planned to launch it in this territory all those years ago, at some point someone pulled the plug, presumably because they thought that it would cost more money to run than it would make or, or, or not be worth it to, to do it. So... And now they've got an Xbox One version. Like, I, all right. Did Microsoft pay them for that? I don't think... I doesn't seem like something they would do. It did show up on Microsoft's stage, so maybe it was a case of just like, hey, this would be a good feel-good thing to have. Like, maybe Microsoft made it happen. I suppose it's possible. Uh, it is coming to PC at some point. And it's already on every other console. It's not here. Uh, and the version on Switch is a cloud version that streams and, uh, you know, <laughs> I've got that installed on my Switch. So I think that's the thing. Like that that's probably like I, I like this game, but it is so in its own way that uh, that it, it's a shame, you know? Like like this this content framed in a more modern way, uh, I think would would be much better received than than this game is is likely to be received or is being received. I mean it's in open beta, but they're taking money and the game has achievements, so as far as I'm concerned, the game's out. the end of the level is. Ran out of PP. You know how it happens.
But, you know, like, they, they added tile sets over time, you know? So it's like the game launched with basically, like, four episodes and then... Or, or four tile sets. Uh, or, you know, maybe it was more than that, actually. But I've been thinking of original PSO, which basically had four tiles. But, you know, they added more over time with new monsters and new stuff. So, you know, it's you could draw a lot of parallels to Diablo in terms of, like, how the core of this thing is structured, you know? Uh, how the, the acts in Diablo would work with different enemies, different tile set, all the other stuff. Like, that's more or less how this works. Um, but you're doing the same basic thing in those tile sets, right? You're running around and just clicking on shit until it blows up. Um, ah. Someone looking to sign up. I like it. This is a level 5 alliance. We're not fucking around. It's got room for 100 people. I think it's got like 18 in it, though, so... Uh, but a lot of people will sign up for the alliance and then, like, try to sign up for, like, five other ones, and... Uh, if they if they do that too much, it prevents me from actually sending them an invite because this game's good. Um, that's another yeah. There's there's so many just little dumb things. I think I've showed the process of trying to invite someone to an alliance on stream before. It's I have to use Notepad. Because, because I have to write down all the names of all the people that emailed me because I then have to type them back in to send them a message. Shit. This is also not where we go to leave, so we're running out of places to go. You know, that's a, a six-star item. I feel like I should at least pick it up and sell it. I don't know. Like, there's no Marcus junk. There's no like so many of the items you get are garbage, and there's no like, hey, fucking sell all your junk, and then like there's no functionality like that. The stuff that you expect from like a modern game uh, that that would have been that would have made sense when this game was originally made, <laughs> you know. Um, it doesn't have, it doesn't, generally speaking, it doesn't have that sort of stuff. You can search by rarity when you're looking through the player run shops and there are cases like that where you can kind of look at rarity and lock items and, and stuff like that, but it, it doesn't, it doesn't work the way you would want it to. I think that's, uh, any question I would be asked about this game uh, outside of the gameplay, like from from a like a hey, how does the guild stuff work? How does this you know like the answer is almost always doesn't work the way you want it to. Alright. I'm just gonna get to this boss fight and then fight this boss and then I think Alex is gonna uh, get on here and and do his thing. Uh, can't walk away from... Oh, no, this is like a... Oh, no, okay. Destruction. Let's Blossom, search and destroy Op. Play the Skrillex. Give me the flamethrower. We gotta kill all these plants. Oh, but is it not these Blitz Blossoms? Is it a different? Okay. Okay, we did it. Yay. We did it. Alright, now we got a boss fight. And then that'll be that. Speaking. 
Oh, right, it's this boss. This boss fight's kind of fun because it's like a throwback to original PSO, uh, where it had a, a you're on a boat and the boss is going all around you fight. Um, Emergency. But also, it just means this fight takes a lot longer than you want it to because it's just a ton of it where the boss cannot be hit. got hit hard there. I did it again. See, that that's the sort of thing. Also, I think if I really wanted to do play a little more seriously, I would probably be using a mouse and keyboard uh, because you can you can aim with the right stick and play, but it's not really conducive because you have to hit the face buttons to shoot. Um, and the enemies have weak points. Like, you can knock items off, you know, like there's... Like a monster hunter or something to that effect. You can... Um... Oh, my God. That's it. I'm done. That's it. Unless the AI can revive me, I... Well, you know what? Uh, that means I will not get an S rank. Wait, no, I died at the end. That's I lost. That's fucking awesome. That's the first time I fucking lost. Right? I can't... Uh... Left trial, it says. Can I go back into the fight? I guess you can. So I won't get an. I, yeah, I, I will. I will not get an S rank for this because uh, I because I actually died and had to go back to the ship, which does not happen very often. But you know, this is one of the later tile sets on very hard, and it's honestly kind of nice to have something in the game feel like it's at least a little difficult. So much of it has just been this, of just like, stand here, find these button presses.
I'm not quite sure what I need to do here. It, it goes all the way. I don't know if I can roll through it. Oh, that was that telling me what I could do there? Ah, oh, fuck. Killed the thing. I killed that thing. Are any of these items worth out there picking up? No. But I completed like four quests along the way, so. But I get an A, B. I think I've only gotten one other A, so. All right. Well, that's going to do it for me. Thanks for hanging out. I don't, I'm super pissed about the stream dying yet a fucking again. Um, so. I don't even know what to make of that. Other than, yeah, I, I feel like whenever it comes up, people say that that it's been a pretty constant issue on Twitch. So maybe it's just out of my hands. But if it hasn't been happened to other people, I don't even fucking, I don't even fucking know. Oh! Oh! See, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna start putting out AVIs. I'm just gonna record AVIs at home and then say, here you go. Or yeah, we'll just have to deal with the chat delay, I guess. But then, so switching from one to the other and then back again as a have Anyway, it's all doable. It all has its ups and downs like anything else. It's never as easy as just swapping out a thing for another thing. Much like I can swap out this button. I'm a super now. Or this button. See you later.